I've been mentioning them all morning. The bulls who will run today are from the legendary Miura Farm. They are the most notorious, meanest animals at San Fermin. They are the only bulls that run here every single year and always on Sunday because that is when the crowds are the biggest. Let's introduce you to the six who will make the run today in this seventh Enciero. The first one, number four, is Mahito, the nice guy. And at 565 kilos, he's the smallest of the group. Lagatijo, the lizard, 620 kilos. He's getting his hydration on before the run. Number 18 is Hiron, the rip, which is what David Bigging had in his pants after he got gored yesterday. Number 20 is Yerbero, the grass, which is what your butt will be if you run head on into this guy. Number 53 is Berreon, the grunter, 680 kilos, by far the biggest bull we've seen this week. And then Tabulario, the corral. Look how mean he is kicking up some dirt as he gets ready to make this seventh run. Jerry, the streets are packed. It is the holiday weekend in Europe. This place could be carnage today. Look at the size of those bulls. That's the thing that I noticed when I first came here. Just the size of them. When they run down the street, you can literally feel the cobblestones moving. We talk about the Muta bulls. Why do, does everybody revere them so much? Well, they're reputedly so dangerous, but the Matadors love them. They love having bullfights with them, but they're very dangerous. If they get separated in their sheer size, they're just vicious. We are awaiting the rocket that will signify the beginning of this Encieto. These are, well, they call them in Pamplona the chicken runners. They run way ahead of the bulls. They rarely see any live animals. A lot of people pick their spots on the run. These people want to be in the bull ring for the end of the festivities. They don't ever really see the bulls until they come in. Other people will hang out, maybe hover around La Curva, the famous 90-degree curve, and wait to see the bulls coming and then jump in the mix. They are referred to as the chickens, but perhaps the better part of judgment is to do what they are doing, especially when the Mutas are about to make the run. That is the man in charge of the rocket. He is lighting his light. The flame has been lit. The rocket is up in the air the gates will now open and the Miura Bulls are on the streets making the left turn up Santo Domingo and this seventh and Seattle Jerry is underway Brett what do you think will it be carnage or will it be a clean relatively clean run your call I am looking for carnage today the first bull already ran into the fence on the way out of the gate the runners halfway down Santo Domingo to meet the Bulls then a 180 back up the street up to the top of Santo Domingo this is where it gets very narrow. There's nowhere to escape until you get to City Hall Plaza, which is a left-hand turn right above this shot here. They are running with the white animals, the steers. They're supposed to herd them up the course. So far, very, very clean as we head up Santo Domingo. I don't think there's been one contact with a runner. We're going to make the 45-degree left into Plaza Consistorial. We said that the Mura Bulls are reputed to run in a tight pack following their basic herding instinct. The oh, guy gets run over on the right-hand side there. And now the bulls go down on Mercaderas, and runners are in the path as we head into Hamburger Wall, and now we're getting contact. A couple of guys right there in the mix get plowed into the edge of La Curva. Look at the sheer amounts of people on the run. This is now on Estafeta, the longest stretch of the run. Uphill, the bulls begin to tire. The pace is quick. We had some contact at La Curva. If you want to pick a place to run, a hairy place to run, hang out right in front of Hamburger Wall and jump into Estafeta, 480 yards long. That bull is isolated. He is behind the pack on Estafeta, and while there's nothing going on with him now, it could be trouble. Working their way up towards the top of Estafeta onto a stretch we call Telefonica. It's very wide. It opens up. There's a lot of fences on either side, places to escape. If you choose to do so, look at number 10, right in front of the horns. And hurtling runners who have fallen in front of him. What a dangerous move, but he's executing it brilliantly. Now the left turn onto Telefonica. Runners going down underneath the hooves of the bulls and trampled. The guy in the red shirt trampled. You see several, multiple runners down, trampled and possibly gored. Again, Brett, I've told you so many times, not only are the bulls dangerous, but just the sheer amounts of other mozos or runners running through the Calle Hon right here. This is very, very dangerous. A Monton on the right side, a pile of people through the Calle Hon. Only two bulls into the ring so far, and now here come the rest. That is an isolated bull, a Toro Suelto. He's alone, heading for the right side, looking for a goring. That isolated bull will now head through Telefonica into the Callejon. What will he do over that runner who gets trampled on the right side of the Callejon and through the tunnel? 
Throughout the course of the week, the Callejon has provided the most dangerous action. Now this bull is looking around. He is all by himself. Like you said, Toro Suelto, an isolated bull. This is when danger is right around the corner. The Doblador is trying to get him into the pen, but he has a mind of his own. He may want to fight. What a great job by the Dobladores to get that bull into the pen. And the rockets have sounded. The crowd is huge in the Plaza de Toros. And you see the medics attending to what we believe at a preliminary count is three Gorings. Brett, it's Sunday, and the Mura Bulls were not on the way to a mellow church festivity. Did you see them plow people down on the way up the Encierro? They were nasty, and they are large. Again, only one of them was smaller than 600 kilos. That's a group of large, large bulls. Let's take you back to our replays, Town Hall Plaza, Plaza Consistorial. This was our first contact with the bulls, and these runners go down and get trampled on the turn. When you go down, you must stay down. This guy is down on the outside, and here comes some steer and bulls. He's halfway getting up. Bad move. Yeah, that's when you get into trouble. If you go down, stay down, assume the fetal position. This is Mercaderis. Those bulls and steer falling on the right side. That led to trouble. Remember, that's how Matthew Tassio got killed in 95, the last death here at the Enciero. He stood up instead of staying.